Solano County is disproportionately affected by diabetes and prediabetes. This is largely driven by large areas in the county that, have, that qualify as food deserts and higher than expected rate of childhood obesity. And what's most striking is that the rate of diabetes complications is substantially higher in Solano County than the rest of the state. I felt like we needed to do something to move upstream. And through the generosity of Sutter Health and through generosity and partnership through Solano County Public Health, we've been able to develop MOBIC, the Mobile Diabetes Education Center. We're uh, proud partners of Toro University and we're happy to invest uh, in our community with Toro in the creation of the Mobile Diabetes Education Center, um, which we lovingly call the MOBEC. You know, diabetes uh, and is, a, is a disease that, uh, once you have it, is the underlying driver of virtually our majority of the care uh, and chronic care conditions that we see on a day-to-day -day basis. And so to combat diabetes in the community is part of our commitment to uh, making sure that people have health care, not only uh, in the emergency department or in their physician's office, but everywhere they work, live, and play. Uh, because health care is not something that you just do every now and then, it's something that you do every single day. I think that MOBEC has a tremendous impact on the community. It creates a level of social cohesion and community engagement that's needed. It promotes a level of trust within the community to be able to come into Mobeck to know what their numbers are, their blood sugar testing and their blood pressure as well, and to be more uh, educated about their health status. Especially those who have diabetes to effectively manage their diabetes and to prevent diabetes complications in the future. It's great to actually have the opportunity to set up Mobeck visits for local fairs, churches, schools. So MOBEC can help spread the word about diabetes and education towards nutrition. And so one of the great things about MOBEC is that it has allowed us to extend research opportunities to the various diverse communities of Solano County, um, and which has been great because a lot of the uh, research participants find it really exciting to learn more about their health conditions while also contributing to the field of medicine. I've really liked working on MOBEC because it's given me a chance to talk with the patients more in depth about their diabetes and given me a chance to really educate them on how to plan their meals better. With two out of three adults in Solano County being overweight or obese, now more than ever, diabetes management, diabetes prevention, and identifying diabetes early is critical to improving health outcomes for our communities. It's made a huge difference to us as students because we can actually go out and learn the tools we need to perform the type of outreach that we actually came to Toro to perform. So one of the reasons why I became a doctor is that I wanted to help people learn more about themselves and more about health in general. And when you go to a MOBIC event, people come without knowing uh, much about their own health. They don't know what their blood pressures or blood sugars are, and they don't have a lot of resources that can help them. One of the most powerful things that I can do is that I can give them educational capital so that they can use that to form a greater awareness of themselves. Their presence has been such a bonus for the people that just can't afford health care on a regular basis. The people that can't afford to go see the doctor for a diabetic screening. The people that don't have any health insurance. The homeless people, the underserved people, the disenfranchised people that come to Faith Food Fridays. To be able to have health access through Toro and the MOBAC unit, it's a blessing and a bonus and certainly something that they otherwise wouldn't be able to access. The program offers many incentives and one is to give you the opportunity to work up to 150 minutes a week of activity. My personal goal was to run a 5K, which I accomplished September 30th of this year. So I want to take an opportunity to thank you and thank Sutter Health for making the moment possible. One of the main tenets, of course, of healthcare is to teach the next generation. And so by being able to bridge uh, community health and evidence-based medicine and doing it in a practical fashion for the next generation of healthcare providers is really impactful. And it's something that I think is a model that we certainly should continue to replicate um, in as many places as we can. So thank you for everything you do.